Hello everyone, Ed from Canva here with yet another Canva tutorial. This one is all about memes. Anyone and everyone can become a meme artist in record time with Canva. Whether you're posting them in your friend or family group chats or sharing them onto social, there's never been an easier way to deliver the laughs than now. Meme templates aren't just good for laughs though. Let's run through a few examples of meme style content with different uses. So we're inside Canva and here are the example meme style designs we are creating. Some are humorous, while others are lighter and more engagement focused. First is the classic meme arrangement, which features some text and an image. This is probably the most widespread of all memes on social media as it provides some of the most versatility. The second is a video variant of the classic arrangement, which features a GIF. And the third is a style of meme that has been popular for some time now and has especially made waves in 2020 and 2021, the Twitter quote meme. This particular style is great for brands and personalities due to it housing a profile picture plus naming the author and having their handle there as well. It's mostly used to house humorous quotes, thoughts, or for sharing your opinions and insights, like a thought leader. Let's start by creating our first meme style piece, this one over here. We're gonna do that by heading to the main Canva page, like we are now, and we're gonna search for memes in this search bar up here. We're gonna search for memes square because we want these dimensions to post on social media. So here you can see all the different styles of meme templates you can choose from. As you can probably tell, the Canva team loves their memes. <laughs> and there are a ton of templates here from the big brain meme over here, all the way to a simulated iMessage conversation over here. For this particular tutorial, we're gonna choose this basic meme over here, because again, it does provide some of the most versatility compared to all the other memes. I'm just gonna do that by opening this up and we have the template we're working with. From here, we're gonna change the font to Arial to give us a clean, very neutral font to work with for all of our memes. We're also gonna turn off bold. From here, it's a simple matter of adding your image in and changing the accompanying text. You can upload your own images into your design or use Canvas Photo Library to find yours. What I did was search for lavender and these beautiful images returned. What I'm gonna do now is remove the previous image and just place this into our design at a size that we're happy with. And I'm just going to quickly crop that so that our, this middle sort of passage here is centered. That's looking all right. And I am happy with that. We're now going to add our text in. And you're all done. You could go a step further and add a second image in by adding a frame or a grid, like so. First, head to Elements, search for Grid, and go for this grid over here. Bring that forward. What you can now do is drag your image into that, and then position your grid like so. Just gonna make a quick copy of that grid by using our keyboard shortcuts, Command C, Command V, or Control C, Control V. And we're gonna go back to our Photos tab and just choose one of these other images that we think might be a great fit. So I like this person over here, which might be able to get our viewers to sort of feel like they're sort of there in the shot and might draw some more engagement from viewers. I'm gonna select both of our grids and make sure they're both centered together like this. And now this tells a much richer story than just with one image alone. Next up is the video variant of the classic arrangement, which utilizes the GIF. I'm going to quickly just duplicate this page here so we have our placeholder text up here. And I'm going to remove these two grids down here. We're going to add our GIF into our design by heading to the More tab down here and then selecting Giphy. For our particular example, we search for Tired in the Giphy library. And we went with this image over here. I'm just going to resize that and reposition that so that it fits across most of the screen. And you can either keep a white space underneath like this, or you can crop it fully to the edges. And now you just change the copy. Me after deciding on a font an hour later. I can totally speak from experience when I say this is me every single time I have to choose a font. <laughs> and now this example is good to go. You can substitute this GIF for a video that you upload, or you can use all the videos available in Canvas video library over here. These examples have all been a little bit similar, so I've included a wildcard example here. So next up is our Twitter quote format, which isn't quite a meme, but allows you to deliver quotes, thoughts, opinions, or experiences, humorous or not. For this particular example, I'm gonna duplicate this page yet again. I'm gonna delete our previous visual, and I'm going to move this main copy down here. Once that's done, we're gonna get a circle frame from the elements library to house our mock profile picture into, and it's conveniently available right there. So quickly resize that and I'm going to place that here around there. We're also going to head to the photo library 
and we're going to search for selfie just to give us like a sort of mock profile picture to place in there. Might go with this for now and just place that into our frame. I'm going to quickly reposition this by making this larger and centering the subject. Perfect. And from here, I'm going to copy this text, resize. And what I want to do is I want to center this text with our profile picture, as you can see like that. Leave a small gap in between the profile picture and the text. So on this first line, I'm going to have the user's display name, which for this particular example was display name, just a placeholder. And below that, I'm going to add the person's handle. So this is where the username goes. I'm going to quickly group select these and again, just make sure they're centered. And what we're going to do is we're going to simulate what Twitter does with their platform and we're going to make this text a little more gray. And we're going to bold this text up here. And now we're going to add our Twitter text quote in, which is, I was today years old when I realized Canva auto saves and I don't need to anxiously click save every three minutes. So we can see in the process of typing, it's shifted our text box a little bit. So I'm just going to quickly resize this and reposition this. And this text is still a bit large compared to how Twitter natively displays this. So I'm going to go a little bit smaller and that's now looking right. So we've got our text box in alignment with our profile picture. These are separated to a great degree. And this one's looking complete now too. And we're all done. We finished our four examples. Did you like this tutorial? Have you used Canva to create your own memes? If so, please let us know by dropping a like on this video. If you found any of the lessons here useful, we'd also love to hear it in the comments below. I'll catch you in the next tutorial. Ed signing off.